Hey, what's up guys? Wes Logan here with Bass Resource. Gonna give you a little, little rundown of how my boat's kind of laid out and how I store everything that I have with me on the water uh, day to day. You know, us being pros, they, ha they have us going all over the country, different bodies of water. So I move a lot of tackle in and out, but there's always a method to the madness a little bit. And, and my boat's probably not the most organized as guys on tour, but I kind of know where my stuff is and I know what I'm going to be using that week. So I'll kind of keep it as handy as I can and I'm just kind of going to give you a breakdown of you know how I do it and it may not be the right way but it may give you an idea or two that you may be able to use in your boat so basically we're going to start out with you know I, I keep all my rods in my left hand rod box uh, I know some guys like to split up their you know their spinning rods and they'll be having on one side and their bait casters on the other these skeeter rod compartments are really big I mean I'm probably able to hold there's probably 20 to 25 in there now and I can probably fit another 10 to 10 to 12 in there but basically just going to be all my rods um you know i use the rod socks uh the the skeeter has a, a one big tube instead of a lot of single ones so i'm able to store a lot more rods in there nothing really crazy else goes in here just basically rod and reels and, and you know that's kind of just the gist of it um but the the middle compartment is where a lot of the 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 main business stuff goes down um i'll have you know my, my actual tackle box is down the middle uh where, where skeeter you know has a lot of the space for that uh, i'll have some smaller boxes here on the side like here's a a, a g box from gamagatsu it's got trebles in it but they're real skinny so i can set them on the sides and i can see which ones i, I kind of i'll have them labeled and stuff like that i'll know which ones i need right there uh, i've got a few over here um i got some rain boots in here i keep my my rain suit up there in the front it's kind of out of the way uh it's just kind of the best place I like to put it. it. I don't really go up there. I don't reach up there a whole lot. So I just figured that would be a really good place to put a rain suit. It's really easy access. I uh, got my rain boots up there uh, beside it. I keep a few spare reels in the boat. A lot of times I'll either have them in here uh, just laying there ready or I'll have them in this little, you know, dry box. Just kind of depends. But all in all, that's where the tackle that I'm going to be using 90% of the time during the day is in here. And depending on what I'm doing in the tournament, I'll have you know kind of set up like right here where it's just really easy access right here close to me um and then just some backup stuff or stuff that i think i might need but you never know i'll keep it kind of you know more towards the front where i'm not having to reach up there to stuff that i need may need multiple times a day um we don't get to use a net in the elite series but skeeter has a really good you know a net holder right here that you can hook with this bungee cord and it like it, it's it's really convenient keeps it out of the way until you need it you can put it back up stuff like that so moving over here to my right hand rod box or driver's side um this is where i'm going to be keeping a lot of my you know my storage bags like one really special bag that i like to use sunline makes a specialist model bag you can keep a lot of stuff in here like i've got line in here now just spare line i may need during the day um but just kind of, it's really a good deal you can throw you know cameras in there gopros in there you know gloves hats anything kind of extra like that um uh, i have like i've just got stuff laying in here like i've got my garmin you know graph cover for when i get done at the end of the day i can cover it back up but th again like i said over here is where i'm going to have most of my, my ziplock type stuff like here's some bags i got from tackle warehouse it's got all my you know my flipping plastics in it uh, i have some you know i'll have you know little stuff you can get from home depot or walmart that just you know holds holds a lot of stuff but is, is very convenient to you know the way i store stuff it's always going to be there but i've got a lot of storage it keeps stuff neat i know where certain things are in there because i'll i'll label them and you know have you know fluke style baits in this one or worm style baits in that one and i'll write on top of it and, and i'll kind of put them back in the same place when i get done with them so i know i can open it up reach in there know what i'm looking for and, and all that good stuff a uh, few spare boxes in there if let's just, like these are just last minute stuff that i threw in here this morning that i thought about you know i grabbed out of the truck threw them in here that's kind of where all that stuff goes with mine uh but still plenty of room i, I know kind of it, it does it kind of looks messy but i know where everything's at like i, I know i'm not going to go in there a whole lot but i know what's in there if i need something in particular i'm like well i know what's in here i can i know kind of exactly where it's at all right here's my uh, the dry box and the skeeter and, and you're going to have a lot of stuff in here like I, i've got some phone chargers i've got my fishing license for here i've got my afco gloves um that i'll wear uh you know during the day of fishing i have my boat registration in here in a ziploc spare towels um i've got my fish life first aid that you know 
basically what in it's my live well treatments in here so anytime i catch a fish if it's bleeding or I, you know i want to put some stuff in the live well most of that stuff's going to be in here uh almost like a junk drawer at your house pretty much um anything that you might need you might not need i throw it in here uh or stuff that needs to just be in the boat but not be in the way that's what normally goes in my dry box um skeeter's got a pretty cool trash can you know it, that's kind of self-explanatory um it can be doubled as a as another you know compartment to store stuff but you know i kind of try and use it for what it's made for all my line i don't do not throw your line in the water throw it in the trash can doesn't need to be out there put it in here um moving on back uh basically you know we've got back here at the console no, no really kind of storage type deal there uh just basically self-explanatory and then back here we'll have you know you'll have a box behind your driver's side and then a box behind your passenger side my this is where i, I made a little deal uh i kind of screwed it to the to the box right there that i can just unclip my my coil balls when i'm back here dealing with my fish i've got my my life jacket stay back here my spare props in here uh my boat logics balance beam is in there just basically stuff that i really won't use besides the life jacket but you know after the day starts the life jacket will be out and then it's just all my, my scales will be in here because i'm just right here dealing with the fish uh balance beam again coal balls drop them in the water you know just real quick and easy nothing crazy as far as the um over there under the you know or not under behind the passenger side it's going to be more of like uh spared life jackets um because the life jacket I like to use, we have to have a normal life jacket, like a, 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 a vest type. I keep them over there. I keep two of them in there, one for me, one for my marshal. Um, if I have any type of extra clothes I think I need to take, I've got a small bag over there just in case I fall in or something like that or, or you know, get real wet. Just something I can change into real quick. Uh, the back battery compartment, it's really, the, I don't have any storage back there. It's pretty full. I've got, you know, I've got five batteries back there. I've got four x2 agms and one x2 lithium that you know runs my graphs that's kind of like self-explanatory back there nothing really crazy skeeter's got a really good cooler you know you got your waters got your snacks and all that good stuff but yeah i mean that's kind of the basic gist of it um again it's probably not the most organized boat on tour but it's kind of controlled chaos i, I know where everything's at i move stuff in and out so much that i kind of don't I have all it all in different boxes so i can just pull the box out of my truck take these boxes out you know replace them stuff like that so that's the way i do it maybe you, you know you learned a trick or two and hope this helps and uh, we'll see you guys on the water